People in a couple of communities tonight are going to bed a little more frightened that their home might become the target and be shot at. Investigators say they've had more than a dozen reports of someone shooting at homes, at cars, at street lights in Cabell and Lincoln County. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove reports residents are praying the shooter is caught before someone's hurt. It was six inches from my front door. A community being terrorized. I worry about my family. Those who live here say shots have been ringing out in the overnight hours for a couple weeks. A shot right here. Ronnie Ross was lying in bed in his home on Madison Creek when he heard a thump. The following morning, he saw his porch light had been shattered and a bullet was lodged in the siding of his house. Makes you anxious. You don't know what's, you don't know what to do. That's just one of 15 such complaints the Cabell County Sheriff's Department has taken of random shootings in the Madison Creek and Long Branch areas of Salt Rock and Branchland within a few days. You kind of watch every move you make. Police say so far they have not gotten any reports of anyone being injured in these shootings, but neighbors fear that could be a matter of time unless whoever's doing this is caught. It's a 22 hole right there. An outdoor light at Gregory Ross's house shot out as well. Now, I don't know what kind of a shot the guy is, but if he had been off in any way, it could have went on over and went right through the bedroom window. He says he has not been able to sleep, afraid eventually one of these bullets is going to damage more than property. You, you don't point a gun at people's houses. It just don't happen. The sheriff's office is sharing security video of this vehicle believing it belongs to the person responsible. I hope they do get him. I really do. And if they arrest him and he put him, give him a jail date or a uh, court date, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I want to see the person who did this. Saying their sense of security will not be restored until an arrest is made. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Cabell County. So if you do have any information that might help, you're asked to contact the Cabell County Sheriff's Department or State Police in Hamlin.